What's going on everyone? It's Elite here with a video today and believe it or not, I want to talk about NASCAR Heat 4 already. As I'm recording this video, it's the middle of January and NASCAR Heat 4 most likely won't be out until September of this year unless 704 plans to do something a little, di little bit different this year in terms of release date. We don't know what they got up their sleeves when it comes to anything in regard to NASCAR Heat 4, but Today, I'm not talking about uh, a re uh, the release date about NASCAR Heat 4, and I'm not talking about a wish list. This is not a wish list video, by the way, for NASCAR Heat 4. Today, I'm going to be addressing something, something that's that I feel like that's been holding 704 games back from releasing um, great NASCAR games. And it's something that they've been doing for the past two NASCAR games now, something they, they've added within the past two NASCAR games and that's adding other NASCAR series or just adding other series in general. Why do I feel this way? Um, why do I feel like that it's holding 704 games back? Well, first of all, if you guys don't know who Sean Wilson is, Sean Wilson uh, is a developer at 704 games and he answers questions a lot on Twitter uh, regarding these NASCAR games that they develop and release and you know when people ask him oh why don't we get you know paint booth why don't we got statistics why don't we get presentation silly season dns caution replays the list goes on and on because it's still a lot missing after three games his response is usually well we didn't have time to get to that stuff because you know you know of adding these new series you know the new series to ease up a lot of our time and blah 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 and that right there is the problem um them adding these series is eating up a lot of their time when really they could be focusing on other things that would actually elevate the game in my opinion i don't think extra series elevates these nascar games the only thing that it really adds is to the career mode just by a little bit it's you know it's another tier to you know for the ladder system and you know in the career mode instead of doing like you know nascar heat 2 it was trucks is fitting in cup nascar heat 3 you got another another i guess stepping stone for you know uh the career mode instead of starting off in truck you start off on uh, in the um dirt series so it really doesn't add anything in my opinion and you know so that right there something has to change with nascar heat 4. um right now it's so many things uh, missing in these nascar games it's like i just named presentation the game still feels dead after three games there's no pre-race or post-race commentary uh nothing uh statistics are severely lacking it's you know the only statistics that you get to see is wins and top fives top tens and the number of championships you got um and how the way it's structured it's not all that great you can't look year by year you only look at the current you know season that you're in you can't look at other driver stats no paint booth is the lack of customization it's a lot missing in these nascar games because they're focusing on adding new series every year. Uh, you already got people out there that's asking for ARCA and Wheel of Modified and uh, k and 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 to be honest, and you know, it's not necessary. It's really not necessary. Just ask yourself, like, would that really elevate the game? Would you? And let me just say this. I already know some people are going to say it. Well, some of four can do both. They can add a new series and add a presentation. And paint booth. Well, if that was the case, they would have done that a long time ago. Uh, they would have added presentation along with the Xfinity and trucks in NASCAR Heat 2 or caution replays. In NASCAR Heat 3, while adding the Dirt Series, they could have added uh, a full blown paint booth or silly season into the game, but they didn't. 704 has to choose wisely when it comes to what they want to add into these games every year. And from what I've been seeing so far, it's been the same direction every year. It's been, let's add a new series. Let's get 
a couple of minor little features in there, and I'm gonna get to that in a minute. And you know, let's fix a couple things up. And of course, let's update the driver rosters and the schedules and all that. Now, when I say that, you know, let's add these couple of minor little features, it's very, very basic things. So, um, before NASCAR Heat 3 release, they bragged about a, tra uh, um, excuse me, a racing line. And that's something you can find in just about every racing game. 704 trips me out because they they brag about this these little things and they advertise as these little things when really these little things should have been in the first NASCAR heat NASCAR heat evolution and what I mean by that I'm talking about the ability the ability to look behind you 360 cam a fucking track map or a racing line and then they got some things that they add into the game that's not really necessary, like challenges and split screen. They claim that people asked for split screen. It was a big, you know, outcry about it. But really, it, it wasn't. Not from what I was seeing. So, um, and once again, split screen doesn't elevate the game, uh, elevate these NASCAR games. Also, we're in 2019. Who the fuck still plays split screen? If so, it's a very small percentage of people that actually use that. So, you know, yeah, like, it's time for a new direction. They, they got to take a different approach when it comes to these NASCAR games because, you know, they're focusing on the wrong stuff. Also, this eSports stuff. Um, that's all they've been talking about ever since NASCAR Heat 3 came out. And... Their game is not even close to esports ready. So, the the first thing that has to happen f first though is not to add new series. Think about like think about when you add a new series. I mean, you got to model the tracks, the the tracks that that series race at, the the cars themselves. Like if they was to add wheel and modifiers, they got to make sure those cars get the physics right, so the physics right on those cars, the speeds right. Uh, you know, the environment around the tracks, right, and everything. You know, it's a totally different beast. Cause every series in NASCAR is different. Not every series. I say the only two series that's about the same is maybe ARCA and K and N. In terms of how the cars drive, at least. But um, yeah, Will the Modify is a totally different beast. Um, trucks is different. Xfinity is different. Cup is different. It's just that you can't just copy and paste like the physics, you know, like from Xfinity to trucks and all that, or to a, a modifier. You can't have it handle like an Xfinity car or whatever. That's just lazy. And I'm pretty sure 704 wouldn't do that. But anyway, it, it takes a lot of work. And like I said, it eats up a lot of time. And then another thing I forgot to mention is that. You know, if they were to add Xfinity, k and or Trucks, it it wouldn't, like, you know, they run different point structures. Uh, the top three series, NASCAR, the, uh, the Cup Series, the Xfinity, and Trucks, they run the playoff elimination, you know, shit um, that they've been doing for the past, what, four years now. And um, when it comes to the k and ARCA, and Will the Modifiers, they were on the classic thirty, uh, the classic season long points, you know, structure. It's no chase. It's no playoff points or anything like that. It's just whoever got the most points by the end of the season wins the championship, which I prefer, by the way. But <laughs> anyway, that's not the point of this video. But um, yeah, like I, I um, that's you know they got to have two different point structures in the game, and that could probably fuck up the game. If they, you know, was to add a K&N series, and then they like, okay, now we got to get the point structures right and everything. It's just a lot of work. But really, like I said, you can focus on presentation. The game currently feels dead right now in these NASCAR games. How about focusing on that uh, statistics, paint booth, give the players customization, 
options. We need more options. It's just so much stuff missing. The physics, the physics are, are, are very mediocre right now in these NASCAR games. That needs work. The AI, even though they're pretty solid, needs work as well. Their tires don't wear right now and everything. Um, you know, they don't run different lines. Like, they don't spread out quick enough. It's a lot of work that needs to be done. And, you know, I'm not saying come out the greatest NASCAR game you know, I'm not asking some of four to come off the greatest NASCAR game ever. Uh, it takes time, of course. But I want to start seeing some progress. Big progress. Because every year, in my opinion, it's been small progress being made to these NASCAR. From year to year, it's been small progress. I haven't seen big progress. It's been baby steps. Um, things that they've been adding doesn't elevate the game. It's kind of like an eye roll. Like, oh, okay, they added split screen. Oh. Okay, another series. Okay, cool. Um, I guess like you know, um, it's you know the ability to look behind you. Like that's something that should have been in the game from the very start when they first started developing these games. Um, it's just and in this esports stuff, like I said, it's you know I want to start seeing some big progress. Uh, funny how Ed Martin will tell you to be patient. Um. And, you know, he'll tell us to be patient, but really, it's hard to have patience when y'all making baby steps every year. Y'all not really doing that much. So, you know, you can't just tell your audience, your, your consumers to be patient, you know, the people that's into your games to be patient. And then y'all come out of a game and it's not really different from the previous game. It's not big progress. So you can't just sit here and tell me or, or tell us to be patient. Some people actually probably are actually patient. I'm I'm running out of patience because you know I'm not seeing enough every year. So yeah, like you know, number one thing that I you know I don't want to hear about no new series in the next game. I really don't. I'm already hearing rumors about it, and. You know, if that's the first thing I'm going to hear when they start, you know, doing the marketing for the NASCAR Heat 4, honestly, I'm going to be pissed because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to see any new series. I want to see, start seeing presentation and stuff um, being added to the game, customization, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that's pretty much it, though. I just wanted to put that video out, uh, this video out, because, um... I feel like I had I had to get this off my chest and you know put it out there and hopefully this can start like a a movement of like don't add any new series and you know focus on this and focus on that because really you know the stuff they've been adding to these games doesn't elevate you know these NASCAR games and that includes extra series so. Um, and another thing, this is not a bash video. I'm not bashing 704. Let me just get that straight right now. Uh, some of you probably already thinking like, oh, like he's bashing 704. Like, no, I'm not. I'm just, this is constructive criticism. If I was bashing the 704, you would have heard things like, oh, man, fuck 704, man. I hope these guys lose a license and, you know, these guys suck. You know, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, these guys can't come off a uh, NASCAR game, a good NASCAR game to save their lives and all that. Like, you don't hear me saying that in this video. You, you didn't hear me say that. All I'm saying is that if I if I didn't have no faith in this company, I wouldn't even be making this video right now. So, but that's all I got, guys. This, um, if I don't know if anybody's going to watch this video. I'm a nobody on YouTube, pretty much. I just wanted to put this video out there and, um, you know, try to see if 704, I'm going to try to send it to 704 and hopefully they can listen. And, um, so yeah, if you guys do tune into this video and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you agree? And until next time, um, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.